Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So on, on a glorious Saturday, that cold wind though, and the sun's out, beautiful cold wind, oof. So um, I'm going out later, but uh, uh, whilst I've got to wait for the washing machine to do and wait for the dog walk to finish, uh, family, the wife's taking uh, Pepper on a six mile dog walk, that's all right, but this time of the year with wild, long grass, uh, my hay fever is absolutely killing, so I, I keep away. Uh, I'm a gardener, but I keep away from the elements that cause me to get serious hay fever. Um, I get hay fever from dust as well, so it doesn't really matter where I go. Uh, so no, anyway, Three Brothers Brewing, uh, based in Stockton on Tees, fantastic brewery, love their beers. Uh, their ethos, the family unit that they are. And um, two sisters distillery as well. Was it? I think it's called distillery. But I know this. The other, the other brand that they do is two sisters. So three brothers, two sisters. Yeah. Uh, oh. Begs the question: if anybody else in the family is going to do the dog, like a dog treat, <laughs> something, one dog. Anyway, a um, little bit of a joke there. No, not that probably no one's going to laugh at it. But there you go. So this is called Session Lager. Uh, 4%, so yeah, bang on that sort of ABV. God, thank God it's not 3.4. I hate 3.4. Um, light, crisp and refreshing, 4%. On the back, it says, light, light, refreshing, very sessionable. Everything a good lager should be. This craft lager is made with American and Slovenian hops to deliver an enjoyable light citrus zing on the finish. So, you know... I like good beer, I like good ciders, craft beer, I love an impy stout, you know, I've got, I've got 80 pints brewing upstairs, <laughs> yeah, that's never going to make it to September, <laughs> as soon as it's ready, it'll be a pint tonight, get in, but uh, well, you know, you're only here once, and uh, I work hard enough anyway. Work stupidly hard all week, even today on a Saturday. I've weeded the garden. Oh dear, oh dear. The only problem with being a gardener, doing other people's gardens, is that my garden gets left. And half the time at the weekend, I've had enough. I don't want to do any more gardening. But it needed it today. And uh, I've got half a green bin. Green bin, not brown bin these days, because in Nottingham, we've got to stop paying for our rubbish now. Even though the council are the ones who royally knackered up the uh, everything. Um, so there's a light straw to gold pour, depending on, 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 on the light. Probably outside it might look different, but in, in the shed, the beer room, it uh, looks like it does. The raggish tap room, even. Um, nice bit of carbonation going off for a little white head, as we can see. Right, I have took four A fever tablets today because I'm suffering massively. Yeah, a lovely citrus nose on this. I thought I was going to have to really dig deep to find it, but no. I like the use of American and Slovenian hops. So I had a Slovenian hop pills the other week. It might have been from these guys. It definitely, definitely was something on the beer wall. Uh, was it a Slovenian, Slovenian hop pale? I think I had that at uh, Thornbridge Tap Room. So, yeah, it just seemed to be um, used quite a bit these days. Nice fruitiness straight away. A nice bitterness as well. That's a bit poker bitterness. Let's you know that it's a beer. Oh, it's first crunching. Light. Refreshing. And that's off the first sip. Hey, all good. Yeah, so we've just had somebody come for a cake. So the cake's gone. So all I've got to do now is put the washing out, get dressed. And get out of these scruffy clothes, obviously. Get dressed and... Uh, then head on down and uh, we're doing an afternoon of drinking. Let's hope it don't rain too much while the dog walking because it's looking really cloudy outside. <coughs> I'll give it another half an hour then I might think about driving. And uh, I've got to make my way, this is a good half an hour's drive from, from where we live so 
Um, that's why I'm having a four percenter and then knocking off um, for obvious reasons. Although I do fancy a spot of dinner, some food, maybe some maybe some um, bit of chicken. You know, I've got some I've got some cobs in the house, so I might have butter some nice bread, put a bit of chicken on the cob and the hot chicken. Oof, bless you. Just goes down a tree. So today I've had, I've had a good sort out. Like I say, I've, I've mowed both lawns front and back. I'd already weeded the front garden, but edged off front and back as well. Weeded all the back garden now. Um, I've got the majority of the weeds, certainly all the big weeds up, all the medium sized weeds. The little weeds, you could spend hours and hours and you're still not going to get everything up. So I got the hoe out where needed hold it so you know if it stays dry uh they should dry off but once you get on it i've not touched the garden for six weeks apart from the hedges and occasionally mowing the grass so it was really ready um and uh a good garden really is one that's already pretty damn full of flowers because then you haven't got to touch it everything grows into each other but I'm a, I'm a bogger for playing around the gardens and I can't help myself, it's what it is. Plus stuff dies, like dahlias. Uh, with the winter we've had, I think it's been too wet. It certainly hasn't been too cold, so we can't blame the cold. But I think they've rotted off in the ground because they're too wet. I have, however, got a load of dahlias at work. So it might be the thing that I start bringing some home and replanting them in my own garden. Um, I look after everybody else's, but I, t I tend not to look after my own these days. And uh, that's a gardener. You, you want your garden looking nice. The front garden, to be fair, the front garden's looking pretty bang on. And I always like something new. I'm, I'm, I like to develop and change it, and change the colour. And you have a favourite plant that you like. I've got a load of antirrhinums growing, and when they actually get the backsides into gear and put some actual growth on, I'm going to plant them around the garden so they get lots of different colours, and then I can harvest the seed off them, dry them out, and then reseed again. And yeah, it's, it's what I do. It's it, uh, it keeps the mental health at bay, um, which is very important. Uh, beer is good for me because beer. Uh, a nice drink of beer and doing this beer review thing helps me balance my mental health. Uh, too much beer, not a good thing because that's 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 just adding to problems. And getting absolutely ratted every night is not the answer. Uh, I've done it when I was at my severe severe worst, and yeah, it's not the best idea to do. To be honest, um, that's coming from me. We all do what we do to live our best life, or try and live our best life. Um, like me, I do this beer review hobby. It, uh, it's been good, but it's also, you know, some breweries that were friends with you at one stage, and very friendly, uh, certainly in COVID times. It's amazing how many breweries in COVID times absolutely loved you to bits especially local breweries to me in Nottingham they were all around inviting me down to the breweries doing uh, I've done collabs and then all of a sudden it's dried up and whether they all of a sudden just don't like me anymore or they're too busy possibly or you your use is gone and uh, I've seen it with local breweries where they're doing collabs with, and it's box ticking collabs. Certain groups and certain things without going into specifics uh, and uh, you know it ticks box these collabs or beers to honour certain things ticks the box and yeah it, it, the world is a funny world. God bless if you've got an opinion, blooming neck. So, 
Um, obviously, every beer review, I, I'll drink the beer and I'll also chat, you know. Um, like I say, three brothers. My journey with them is nearly at a close. Um, I've literally got the Trilogy Blonde. Um, I did look on the website and the website was quite lean. At Christmas, there was absolutely tons of stuff. Uh, I suppose during the year it does change, but you know, I've got two, two free brothers left. So no, the journey's not come to an end yet. I shall review them probably the next month. Um, we're six months in since Christmas, so uh, it's been a good journey. I've enjoyed the journey, and I dare say that I'll come across them on on cask. Um, if I was talking to three brothers brewing. Um, there is a big beer festival in October, which is in some ways right down your street. There is, like with all beer festivals, there is, uh, I think you have to pay something silly like 1500 quid just to have the stand. Um, yeah. And, but the breweries that do come down do really well. Breweries that are clever and bring not only bring cans and bottles down, maybe even mini kegs to sell, merch to sell, um, and have cask and keg beers and bring a lot down as well to make sure that you last the three, four days of the beer festival. Uh, is, you know, and that's Robin Hood Beer Festival in October. So, you know, there's a, there's a time period to, to inquire. And I think Three Brothers, with their wide range of beers that are very sessionable, there's nothing that's, you know, there's a lot of breweries with impy stouts and that, but the variation that, um, that Three Brothers bring, from lagers to stouts to bitters, I think... Uh, the Robin Hood Beer Festival would be amazing. Nottingham Camera, obviously the people. Uh, if anybody from Three Brothers watches this and and thinks that's that's maybe an interesting idea, I know one of the Three Brothers uh, people uh, did some learning over at Trent University or Trent Polytechnic, whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, I, I think it'd be a perfect fit. Obviously. Um, That'd be amazing for me because I could actually go down and see the Free Brothers team in Nottingham. But uh, yeah, <laughs> and maybe have a beer on a, on a night before and uh, away from beer festival. You never know. Uh, uh, I'm a gardener. I sow seeds, <laughs> and uh, and uh, ne sow seeds in the right way, in a nice way. Although certain local brewery, they were going to do a a beer with me, and I said that sow seeds. And do you know something? They never did. And I think they took the funnies. And it wasn't meant to be funny in any way, shape or form. But uh, yeah, such is the world. <laughs>